I think I gotta do it right here, right now. I'm really hoping that I can get all this behind me soon. And honestly, it truly breaks my heart that there's just some kids out there that are trying to figure out how to heel flip and they get caught up in all this drama, all this What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Big Fish Sandwich, and we're gonna talk a little bit about Braille. What's been going on with Braille? Why they're tripping? And my boy Flamehead Boy is gonna, you know, chill with me on this whole adventure. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow along with your boy's journey so you can see what's going on with skateboarding and the skateboarding news around the Bay Area. Let's get started with the first Braille member. And uh, yeah, let's get it going. <laughs> I think I gotta do it right here, right now. I'm really hoping that I can get all this behind me soon. And honestly, it truly breaks my heart that there's just some kids out there that are trying to figure out how to heel flip and they get caught up in all this drama, all this nonsense, all this bullshit stuff. Like, I really dislike that. And if you are that kid trying to learn how to heel flip, get out of here. You don't need to watch this video. Go watch Michi Brusco. Like, it's all good. Don't worry about this. The grown-ups got to talk a little bit. <sighs> anyway, let's get to it. So what this is about is on Instagram, Braille Skateboarding and Aaron Cairo both blocked me, Ricky Glaza, on Instagram. Then on YouTube, my main channel account, Ricky Glaza, if I comment on a Braille video, I'm like shadow banned. That it looks like I've commented, but no one else can see it. And what that also means is that every comment I've ever made on every video that I've ever been in on Braille is also ghosted, vanished. And you can check this yourself. You can go to videos like my introduction to Braille or a heavy video about me. And obviously there would be a comment with thousands of thumbs up, but now they're all gone, they're all vanished. Shout out to when I used to do the top comments at 10.01 when all the videos come out. That seems like a good use of my time. I know you're definitely wondering, why did this happen? Now, I can only give you my best guess because I don't have all the information. I only have the information from my point of view. So I'm gonna give you my best assessment of what I think is happening from my point of view. In Scientology, and we're really getting into it. In Scientology, there is this thing, from what I understand, called the disconnection policy. And basically what that says is when someone in your life has shown that they are against Scientology, that you and other Scientologists need to completely cut this person out of your life and shun them and never talk to them ever again. This is my understanding and they label these persons SP or suppressive person or PTS, potential trouble source. I think potential trouble source is a little bit lighter and SP is, is harsher. But again, I, I'm not an expert on any of this shit. I don't really know. So definitely look it up for yourself and maybe you can get some better information. And let me know if you have more information too. And also guys, I'm gonna choose my wording kind of careful in this video because the chance of getting sued from this is a little bit too real, much more real than I would ever care for. So why did I get them so upset and labeled myself as a suppressive person? I wanna backtrack a little bit here and just run over the chain of events so we have a little bit of a fresher understanding in our mind. Most recently, allegedly, I guess, Aaron Cairo got a promotion at the San Francisco Scientology Org. I believe his new title is Executive Director of Daytime Operations. I think what that means is he's the highest ranking Scientologist in the whole San Francisco organization. Not that that really matters, but I, that's my understanding. After that a little bit, Gabe Cruz ended up quitting. The schedule of Braille filming changed from multiple times per week to one day per week. And Aaron and I had this conversation and I said, I live in LA, Braille's in SF. How can I make one day's work a week ever work? Like, I don't think I can film regularly with you anymore. We kind of both said, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. No worries, okay. And then I didn't quit or anything. We just had a lot of, we had a lot of a good conversation, a lot of deep conversation, but I didn't quit. And we kind of ended on like, yeah, maybe if there's some trips, I'll come on the trips and rep Braille, like it's all good. And, and Aaron's like, yeah. Then a little bit of time passed and Aaron said, hey, I'm going on this Red Bull trip. Would you like to come on the trip like we talked about? I said, yeah, sure. We went to Minneapolis, we filmed the Red Bull thing. That was on June 2nd. And we filmed like four videos or so, I think. Something like that. Those videos came out on Braille main channel and the most recent one was posted on June 15th. So not very long ago, the very 
recent distant past. Also on Instagram, Braille reposted one of my reels on June 15th. Like, I guess that means they're supporting me, kind of just like stealing my views from this reel that has absolutely nothing to do with Braille. But anyway, they were like backing me still at this time, right? Then since this trip, I didn't speak to Aaron. I didn't have any communication with Aaron. Then the bit of hearsay from the other employees came away, like they are actively destroying the park. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? Then that's where you saw I reacted to Braille's video of we are closing the- It seems to me that without notice, Aaron Cairo just said, no, we don't want Braille anymore. And we're not gonna tell anybody, which I think is like a breach of contract or something like that. If you don't tell your employees or something like that. I think California has laws to protect employees from just like being Thanos snapped out into the universe. But again, if he is having constant contact with Aaron Cairo, and he did not tell him that the business was about to go out, I think that's somehow illegal. I don't think that's right. I mean, out of all the stuff that you've done for a company, flying out from LA or driving up from LA just to get like two sessions a week or one session a week, and really like just doing this for the love of skateboarding, why would you do somebody like that? Let's hear another Braille member's like account of what's going on. Come to find out, that wasn't true at all. As soon as I got off the phone, I messaged Derek, <laughs> and Derek sent me a picture of the warehouse, and it was already ripped up. Three stair platform and all that was gone. Um, and then, I want to say a couple hours after that, he sent me another picture, and everything was pretty much gone except for the three block and the three stair platform. So, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. Uh, there's, it's just crazy. Like, <laughs> almost 10 years of my life dedicated to this, and then it just abruptly stops because one man decides to. Excuse me, are y'all with the cult? We're not a cult. So yeah, no, I, I will no longer be with Braille do, at Braille doing videos. Uh, don't won't be doing lessons with them anymore, obviously because there is no location. I haven't even gotten like a thank you for all of the years of dedicating myself to the channel. No, no thank you. Not even, like at minimum, a thank you would be. I, I mean, it'd be it'd be stupid. Because, uh, there's just so much I can go into detail about. But I haven't even gotten a thank you. Nothing. Like, I got my emotions all over. Um, anyways, we're gonna head into the bro house, pick up a few items that should be there. I wouldn't be surprised if they threw them out because nobody can keep their word. And then, I can't even get a last skate session because the whole part's done. So that's great. Uh, what a can you imagine 10 years of your life? 10 years of your life. You sat there and did something for a company and then they do this just out of nowhere. That would really sting for me, especially in skateboarding or hopping on my skateboard. I would really be pissed. But um, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Looks like Braille is done for sure. Um, I have some ideas of like a new way to give out some skateboarding lessons and tips and how to put stuff on skateboards, how to create a skateboard, but I'm trying to build a community. So make sure you like this comment, get any comment, it won't get blocked. I'm all about, you know, free speech and everything like that. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. And you know, I want to have something for some people to become what they want to be. And if you want to become a pro skater, you want to just become better at skateboarding just to get over a curve, whatever, you know, make sure you follow this channel. It's all about skateboarding, skateboarding related topics 24 seven. Um, my bag goes out to all the members of Braille that put their blood, sweat and tears and all of this stuff. And make sure you send a shout out to Nigel and send a shout out to all the other bro members and keep it strong, keep it going on YouTube and let's see this become something better. Without further ado, thank you for watching and I'm out. Peace.